Hi, I'm Amy Albertson of the Lake County Examiner. It's Friday, October 19th. Here's your two-minute video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's The Flash. On Tuesday, October 16th, the Secretary of State received 730 submitted signatures to the Elections Division regarding the recall of District Attorney Sharon Forrester. Later that day, Forrester filed her resignation from her position as DA. The verification process for the recall signatures began on Wednesday, October 17th. After the signatures were received, receded, and timestamped by Linda Pluckchi, compliance specialist with the Secretary of State Office. There is a cooling off period leading up to her effective resignation date on Sunday, October 21st. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife has officially adopted roadkill savage rules. Beginning January 1st, 2019, any deer or elk accidentally struck by a vehicle may be salvaged for consumption only. Anyone who salvages a roadkill deer or elk must complete a free online permit within 24 hours of salvaging the animal and provide information including where the animal was struck and contact information. The entire carcass of the animal including gut piles must be removed from the road and road right away during the salvage and antlers must be turned in to the local ODFW office. A fresh sound of a new siren will be ringing through Paisley. As of Thursday, October 11th, Paisley's new ambulance was placed in service and will receive regular use equipped with four-wheel drive. Paisley's Disaster Unit PDU members travel to Chehalis, Washington to pick up the new 2018 North Star Ambulance at the Braun Northwest plant on Tuesday, September 25th. The ambulance was purchased with PDU funds and through the generous support of the Collins McDonald Trust Fund and the Oregon Community Foundation. Lakeview's Town Council held a special meeting on Wednesday, October 17th regarding the proposed 3% marijuana tax that is on the November ballot. Under state law, a city council may adopt an ordinance to be referred to the voters of the city imposing up to a 3% tax on the sale of marijuana items in the city by a licensed marijuana retailer. The state currently collects a 17% tax on marijuana funds. That money goes into a pot and is divided out through various cities in Oregon. According to the town manager, Roberta Vanderwall, the town of Lakeview received nearly $10,000 in the last fiscal year. The town is currently waiting on projections of how much they could make should the voters vote yes on the tax. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for this week. Be sure to check out our online calendar to keep up on everything happening around Lake County. Follow us across these social media sites. Catch a new hotspot every Tuesday, a flash every Friday, and for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Examiner. The Town of Lakeview Air Quality Wood Smoke Advisory begins November 1st, and they want you to know that we can make a difference in making our air quality tip-top. It is important that you are aware of the following information. A green wood burn advisory means good airflow, and it is okay to burn your fireplace or wood stove. But always remember to burn smart by using dry seasonal wood and a hot fire. Don't dampen down or burn household trash. Yellow burn advisory means moderate airflow. Burn only in certified wood stoves. And a red burn advisory means poor airflow. And all burning is prohibited. Call the air quality advisory line anytime or look outside a second story window or the flags in front of town hall. Thank you for your cooperation.